Yes, good morning. Tanzania anaishikilia rekodi ya kwanza mpaka sasa hivi haijavunjwa na hakuna ambaye anaikaribia. Tuseme hivyo uh, ya kushiriki ama kucheza kwenye kikapu kikubwa zaidi duniani kinaitwa NBA. Anaitwa Shimthabit. Tupo naye hapa leo uh, kwenye Clouds 360. Unajua alipita kwenye timu kadha wa kadha ambazo alicheza na alishiriki na kufanya vizuri na kupata baadhi ya tuzo kwenye timu ambazo alishiriki ikiwemo Memphis, Houston Rockers, Portland, eh, Oklahoma City Thunder alicheza pia lakini sasa hivi yupo kwenye ligi ya kikapu kule nchini Japani anafanya nini maisha yanaendeleaje baada ya miaka mingi sana kuwa tumezungumza naye hapa nyumbani yuko hapa shimthabiti karibu sana mzee asante inakuwaje salama za kazi aise safi mbona kotini naambia wewe ndo mtaalamu kabisa mzee wa kikapu Aya. tupo na shimthabiti nikasema njoo hapa tuzungumze naye huyu bwana sasa sasa sa, sa, hivi upo upo Japani yeah. sio umeingia mwaka jana September ndo Yeah. umesajiliwa kule. How how is life in Japan? Well, I'm different sio kama mm. um, NBA but you know ni, ni kazi ambayo nime sign up for agent wangu ameni sign up for kwa hiyo. Well, it's kind of experience to be fun. Okay. Yeah. Tofauti wa maisha ukoje ukiangalia Marekani na kule? Uh, language ya uh, kwanza ongea Kiingereza kivile so hitaji kuwa na mkalimani nilipokuwa hapo pale. Um, um, pia ni watu sio wakubwa kubwa kama Marekani almost kama size zetu za hapo Tanzania kwa hiyo vitu vingi vya vimejengwa kwa size yao kwa hiyo ilikuwa ndio shida ambayo kidogo ilikuwa na ni aha kama umemwelewa kitu hiyo kwamba Marekani ni kawaida kwamba wengi wa mtu kama shim kwa sababu wanakuepo ni wengi ambao wana size yake kwa sababu basketball it's a size culture kule ni, ni utamaduni na kila mtu anakuwa kwa hiyo kuna kuwa facility ambazo zinaruhusu uh, giants kama yeye kuweza ku, kuseto na kuishi kwa amani hasa kule you know wewe unajua watu wa Asia watu wa wadogo 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 kwa lazima apate shida unajua hata hata shati kotinyo la medium size ya ya huko Asia ni tofauti na Marekani ni zote medium size ukiingia kwa mfano kwenye metro ya ya Japan experience iko jana ukiingia kwenye train ya umeme kwa mfano ya Japan uh, unatoka hapa unakwenda pale I mean as far as infrastructure ni ni yeah. one of the best i ever seen uh, it, it, kwenye kwenye transportation kama hivyo mm. ukiongelea sijui metro mm. na tosha fresh ila kina tofauti yake ni kushangaliwa tu yeah. 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 watu wanakushangaa yeah. lakini sasa hivi ushazoea yeah, yeah. miaka miaka mingi yeah by mm-hmm. kimarekani tofauti mm na unapoenda Japan Japan kwa sababu they just never seen that side. Yeah. Kwa hiyo wakikuona everybody just yeah, it's very interesting. Mtu, mtu gani ambaye aliwahi kukushangaa uja uto msao? Mm, Unajua yeah. kuna reaction tofauti za mishangao lakini unaza eh hey, yule mtu yule. Yeah, for, for years is imekuwa ni ki, kama kitu cha kawa ile mshazo ya speed. Mm. Yeah. Labda labda uh, Caesar mm. uh, wakati tunaongea career yake mm. nilikuwa nataka uone clip 1.29 mm. ambayo ina ndio kawaida inatukumbusha mambo mengi sana mm. tuanzia hapa kabisa zimari. kuna clip ambayo tutaiona hapa mwaka 2009 ya Shim Thabit naomba uitazame alafu baada ya hapo tutaendelea na mazungumzo with the second pick in the 2009 NBA draft the Memphis Grizzlies select Hashim Thabit Dar es Salaam, Tanzania and the University of Connecticut. In case you were wondering, did the commissioner really just say Tanzania? Yes, he did. Hashim Thabit becomes the first player in NBA history born in Tanzania. He's actually met three Tanzanian presidents. 7 foot 3, 267 pounds junior out of Connecticut is now a member of the Memphis Grizzlies. Six years ago you were back in Tanzania. Today you're in the NBA. What has been the best part of your journey? The experience itself, you know, me making transition from playing soccer from just kicking it and now you got to use your hands and stuff. So I mean, I've been around great guys, you know, coach Kahun, the UConn program helped me a lot, you know. I, I just want to say thank you for everybody who helped me. What does it mean to be the first player in the NBA from Tanzania? To me this is a blessing you know it's just to get this opportunity to come out here and you know get education play ball 
and it's just great, man. You know, there's, there's a lot of kids dreaming to be in the position I am right now. So to me, it's a blessing. Just I got no words to say. Huo ni mwaka 2009 akitambulishwa rasmi kuingia kwenye NBA kupitia timu ya Nigeria Nigeria you gotta go through it you really always a good feeling so I will come and get a clip even my man got it but enough as you could you could be a kid to go you ah man it was just great man because I will not you to not really get to come I share cool but I got to come on a sharia as you know my sharia what was there a lean kill and to not be now involved now as well as a car you go you come in with you know cutting hands up to the basketball and you go and be a part one basketball ndo kitu ambacho tunataka kufanya mm. wakaniambia waka support kitu ambacho kimenifanya mimi kila siku ambazo nilikuwa nikienda mazoezini mm. nikiwa nikipitia siku ngumu na kama nafikiria okay this, i'm doing something very special mm. i got to keep going maisha maisha nba ya koje kuna watu ambao wanasema tunawaona tuna labda kwa sula ya nje like your bowling maisha mazuri nini lakini you work so hard unafanya sana kazi unafanya sana mazoezi yeah. how is life uh, nba life is, is amazing man it's a mm. blessing we are blessed with so much yani ki, kila kitu ambacho unatakiwa kuwa nacho unaweza kuhakikisha na kuwa nacho ila mm. ugumu unakuja kwenye responsibilities mm. responsibilities ni nyingi ambayo amani ukiangalia at the end of the day sisi pia inabidi tuende nyumbani kwa familia zetu bla 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 mm. ila pia inabidi tu uh, good in public uh, yani vitu vingi sana ila mo, mo, kitu ambacho hardest kuwa as a professional mm. ni work kazi ambayo tuna kwa sababu kuna siku ambazo unaamka labda let's say saa 3 saa 4 mm. asubuhi unaingia katika uh, practice facility utoki mpaka saa kumi jioni so yani tunafanya kazi kama watu ambao wanaingia 9 to 5 really. mm ila sisi movement mm. you move here kuna um, individual workout wewe peke yako mm. kuna um, special workout just bigs who play center position mm. there's a workout that the bigs na guards and then kuna team practice mm. after kuna team lift mm. yani kuna kila kitu ambacho unatakiwa kuhakikisha kuwa wewe as a professional na survive mm. keep up pale so you have to be there to actually practice mimi uh, ashim kwa 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 nchi kama senegal kwa nchi kama nigeria na kwa nchi kama cameroon kumekuwa kuna ile historia ambayo inawabeba kwa maana wachezaji wao wengi ukianzia basketball without borders right. na vitu kama hivyo pengine morphology zao zinawabeba pia na system ambayo imewekwa kwa ajili ya kwa kwa, kwa sababu wana watu pia ambao wamepita kwenye nba right. na wanajaribu kwa inspire kwa mtanzania ama mtu wa afrika mashariki kukuona wewe kama ku, umefika pale na it, it came from I mean nobody expected kwamba this may, might happen yeah. lakini katokea na yeah. ni miaka 9 kwa sasa hivi yeah. young kid ambaye yuko shule ama ambaye yuko yuko kwenye training facility kwenye gym na train kwa ajili ya ya kwenda kwenye NBA inspiration na motivation ambayo they can get from you ni ipi hasa uh, man um, it's not easy um, ni ni kazi ngumu sana um so i'm saying ni to never stop keep mm. going and there and there and there usquame um kaza and there ku kaza kwa sababu watu na napokea messages ya ushafika huko dia kusaidia ndio there is a few people ambao unaweza kusaidia but also najaribu kuwakumbusha mimi mwenyewe niko kunaingia tu kuni labda Google na ingia internet cafe back then kwa kila mtu anaenda internet cafe ila mimi nilikuwa nikiingia internet cafe labda naenda kutuma message ya ni random colleges na tuma tu email yao nahitaji kupata shule kile ambayo hiyo vitu labda haijafanya kazi hata kidogo mpaka nilipopata chance ya kwenda kucheza na Nairobi wa Mombasa katika tournament ndo nafasi kama hizo zinaweza zikaje kwa hiyo uwezo kajiwa labda ukakaa labda ukategemea tu labda Hashim atanisaidia pia wewe mwenyewe saidia pia kwa hiyo cha msingi ni ku ni kuendelea kukazana tu na kuweka juhudi katika vitu ambavyo wanafanya kwa kama vijana wadogo pia also uwezi ukacheza basketball tu kama how pass classes 
ya darasani darasani yani darasani kama ukifeli yani umezingua kila kitu huo huo ni huo ni utaratibu wa marekani 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 kwanza okay. perform kwenye masomo ya kawaida darasani kuanzia high school siyo mm. kama uperform vizuri ucheze wana kuondoa wanatafuta mtu mwingine ambaye anaweza kufanya kila kitu unachokifanya wewe mm. ila na pia classes and a pass kwa hiyo kuanzia high school mm. college miaka yote ambayo nimecheza basketball kule mm. still class ilibidi niweze kupass mm. na niwe kwenye attendance classes mm. kwa sababu mnaenda labda mnacheza game leo mnarudi kesho mnarudi saa 8 tisa usiku mm. kesho asubuhi saa 2 asubuhi inabidi uwe class Jamaica class kuna discipline yake mm. kuna game suspension kwa hiyo sio kwa ajili tu kwa basketball players tu kwa tu kwa na kila kitu ambacho unachotakiwa kufanya inabidi ukifanye for you to play na issue kubwa pengine ambayo labda tuki clarify vizuri kwa hata mtu ambaye yuko nyumbani ni kwamba college ziko zaidi ya 40 ziko zaidi ya zaidi ya 300 marekani umeona eh na zile college zote zinatoa scholarship kwa watoto ambao wanaenda kucheza mpira wa kikapu mm. lakini mind you wanaoingia NBA ambao pengine ni guarantee kwa mwaka mmoja wanakuwa ni 60 tu si ndio kwenye ile draft nzima mm. like first first draft na second draft mm. sasa kwa nini wana, wana insist lazima uwe mzuri darasani kwa sababu pengine unaweza usiingie kwenye NBA mm. na waweza wakatoa mtu kilaza kutoka kutoka college kabisa mm. safi sana una, una, una kuna wakati ambapo unaanza mwaka 2009 ulipoingia kwenye NBA uliporudi nyumbani Tanzania 2010 pale yeah. ulikuwa na baadhi ya initiative programs zako yeah. kama shimthabiti za kusaidia saidia vijana ulifanya nadhani clinic mm. uh, kadhaa football basketball clinics ulizifanya zimefikia wapi ama kuna program yoyote ambayo so far bado unaifanya kwa junior bado zinaendelea okay. um, even though sasa hivi ninajaribu kuwa involved sana sana na NBA junior mm. ila um, kila mwaka nikirudi waga nafanya just basketball camp kwa watoto wa maeneo haya ambayo yananizunguza uka je jaribu kuwafundisha vimoja viwili japokuwa you know tukio kwenda kufanya hizi clinics sisi Marekani kule tunafanya hadi kwa chini ya watoto wa miaka 10 labda mitano au 6 7 kwa hiyo yani nikifikiria yani hivyo vitu nikiweza nikavileta huko kwa tu pia vinaweza vikawasaidia vijana watoto wadogo wadogo kuwa yani kwa sababu sisi wakati tunakuwa kama nilivyosema mwanzoni mm. wazazi wetu ndio walikuwa raw models mm. you know that today na na michezo as raw models mm. you know kwa mfano mzazi wako akiwa mwanasiasa is that your raw model you want to take that route takao ni wewe kuwa mwanasiasa yeah mm. sisi atu, atukuwa na hizo na hiyo kama marekani wanapokuwa labda raw models wao kobe labda lebron or uh, you know whomever but you know kitu ambacho najaribu kukileta hapa ni ku, 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 just kuwa raw model mzuri na kuweza labda ku present opportunity ni disko mfano hizo za NBA uh, uh, hizo clinic ambazo mnazifanya mm. nimekuwa nikizifanya for past 10 years kuna watoto ambao wako tayari wanasoma shule um, uh, US kuna watoto ambao wako colleges mm. kuna watoto wengine ambao walikuwa hapo katika camp zangu anacheza uh, mmoja nimekutana naye anacheza alikuwa anacheza Japan mm. kwa hiyo vitu vingi ambavyo ninajaribu ku, kuwa um, initiated with uh, in a, kujaribu kuwasaidia yani mm. ku, kila kila kitu kinahitaji empowerment mm. kama kuna empowerment labda vitu vingi unaweza vikasababisha watu kukui mm. ku, Okay. Yeah. Japan mpira wa kikapu na una umaarufu wake ukoje? How popular is the game? Unaanza kukua. Wana, mm. wana, wanataka kuikuza ligi ili in the near future zije iwe easy comparison na, na ligi kubwa kubwa ila for as mpaka sasa hivi ya kwa 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 jinsi nilivyocheza na kuona um, bado bado kidogo wanatafuta watu wengi sasa sehemu kubwa ya kule Ashim ni ni wageni mnaocheza au kuna wenyeji pia wa Japan wanaocheza um, kila team inaruhusiwa wageni watatu wasizidi watatu wasizidi watatu U, sasa wale wa Japan mnaocheza nao vimo vyao vikoje ah wapo wa Japan wale pale wa size yako no, not really, mm. not really. Um, Are you the tallest? Yeah, I was. Kwenye nani yote? Ndo mrefu kuliko wote. I was one of the best. Hata kwenye NBA. Kuna wakati alikuwa ndo mrefu zaidi. Yeah. Baada ya kuondoka nani ule Yeah, me. Eh, uh, yes, ule mjapani. Yeah. Alikuwa ni mjapani, si? Yeah, alikuwa ni 74. Mchina mchina. Mchina ya mchina yes. Alikuwa na urefu wa futi 7.9 na inchi 6. Huyu ana futi 7 inchi 3. Bado na kilo 119. 
Sasa hivi 101. 101 umepanda. Size ya kiatu? Yeah. 17 18. 17? Oh, it depends na na kiatu chenye. Bwana. <laughs> Hatari sana. <laughs> Let's talk about Naili the journey ya ya NBA. Uh, watu wengi wana wana underestimate ki, kitu ilichofanya na pengine kutokana na class of talker mm. kutokana na exceptional players ambao wametoka kwenye ile draft kwa sababu ni one of the deepest draft ambao mimi pengine nishare kuziona. Lakini binafsi wana nasema kwamba getting into the NBA peke yake it's a hell of an achievement. Pengine share the experience with these people kwamba kwa nini hata kwenye NBA uweze kukuta watu wana compare players Na kwa nini watch wa Tanzania waelewe nini kutokana na career yako safari yako na ni kitu ambacho pengine naona Tanzania wengi sana wana underestimate na ni good hata Bismarck Biombo mm. aliwahi kusikia hizo uh, yeye mchezaji ameni mkongo mm. ameyupo Orlando Magic ni rafiki yake mkubwa sana aliwahi kusikia hizo rumors kwa Tanzania na alikuta naye kwenye NBA Africa South Africa akaniuliza kwa nini wa Tanzania mnahoji safari ya shimthabiti yes. mnajua achievement aliyofanya mpaka kupitia kufika pale mm. na unajua ni wachezaji wangapi aliwaacha college zaidi ya 3 mpaka mpaka akapenya kuingia eh, kwenye NBA kwa kwa, kwa wepesi kwa. ni kwamba shimu nadhani unachojaribu kukisema mm. kotinyo pia kwenye msingi wa swali lako mm. ni kwamba baadhi ya watanzania naamini sio wote mm. lakini wapo mm. ambao wanamtazama wa kwamba hashimu wanakutazama kama failure mm. pamoja na kwamba kufanikiwa tu kuingia kwenye NBA sio swala dogo kama yeah. anaposema kotinyo yeah. kwamba inaonekana life span yako muda ulioishi kwenye NBA ulikuwa ni mdogo sana na ulikuwa labda na advantage ya vitu kama kimo chako na vitu kama hivyo Una, una lipi la kusema kuhusu hilo? Aelewi uh, tu. Mm. Uh, watu wanaojua basketball wanaoelewa wa maisha wanaoelewa NBA ya hizo wakaongea hizo vitu. Mm. Kwa sababu watu wana, tunaoelewa mm. process tokea ile unaanza high schools juu unafika una college unafanya vitu mpaka unafika huko. Kwanza life uh, NBA lifespan mm. of any players mm. even Americans all over the world lifespan ya NBA mm. ni 3 years. Which is a th- five, five and a half six, six years in NBA. So me to me I don't see this as a failure. Mm. But also culture here to be up appreciation. Mm. I too I too nice of it. Na hiyo tamaduni yetu sisi ya kila kitu tunachukulia poa labda shim tunamuona anaona hapo kwa hiyo poa tu. Unaona atuangalie kuwa labda ndio unaniona niona tu lakini eh kuna vitu ambavyo mimi najua nimevifanya ambavyo sihitaji ku kukana nafafanua kwa kwa nini nilifanya vitu ambavyo nimevifanya umeona kwa sababu wakati ninavifanya hakuna hata mtu mmoja alikuwa hapo kusema hapo unafanya vizuri au hapo unakosea kwa hiyo mimi kukaa labda ku kufikiria watu wanachosema ndo maana mimi mentality yangu sasa hivi ni kuendelea tuna basketball mm. nimechagua kuwa nitakuwa nacheza basketball mm. na hicho ndo kitu ambacho nitakuwa nakifanya nitakifanya katika hali ya juu sana it doesn't matter where i went mm. kwa so, watu wanasema oh japan japan what mm. nimeenda japan ilikuwa um, um, kazi yangu ambayo imenipeleka kule mm. ku keep hiyo uh, team ambayo nilikuwa nimepeleka ku keep kwenye league mm kuwa defensive player of the year kitu ambacho nimekifacha kuwa uh, kuwa na block nyingi kuliko mchezo yote katika league so kuna vitu ambavyo nimevifanya ambavyo mimi kama mimi mwana michezo niko na furaha niko satisfied unajivunia eh nimeenda nimefanya kitu ambacho nimetakiwa kufanya nimerudi nyumbani na ina narudi um, napokaa kwenda kwanza kujiandaa na sama mm. na kufanya mazoezi na teams ambazo zilikuwa zimenipa hiyo assignment as to go to Japan ambazo ziko NBA so mm. kwa hiyo mimi sioni kama vile ni tatizo lolote kwa kitu ambacho ninachofanya as long as my family wanani support mm. ndugu wangu sister yangu mama yangu kila mtu anani support kwa hiyo mimi sioni tatizo lolote okay. shim tuongelee kamba kwenye NBA uh, NBA huko watu wengi sana ambao pengine nimezungumza nao mm na hata baadhi ya baadhi ya watendaji wa NBA wanambia NBA sasa hivi haina watu aina yako kwa maana centers unaweza kuona Golden State Warriors wana Javel Magee pamoja na Zaza ambao kimsingi na mini you can play there vizuri uh, ukiangalia okay, timu nyingi hata kwa mfano hata Cleveland ambazo ni timu ambazo zipo kwenye finals hawana wale dominant centers kwa sasa hivi na ukiangalia okay, ombo hilo ama nafasi hiyo kwa maana ya watu aina yako wakubwa kama wewe kukosekana kwenye NBA kwa sasa hivi na wewe kwa kwenye ligi ya Japan 
one comeback yako inaweza kuwaje je we should people expect kwamba wewe unarudi kwenye NBA um, of course ndo maana kama ni kusema the topic nyuma hapa kwa um, assignment yangu ilikuwa po nimetumwa na, na, na team kadhaa ambazo nimefanya nazo um, mazoezi la, last, last uh, year before the season um, ni kuna team kadhaa ambazo kama sio kama nilizipata habari nilifanya na New York Knicks New York Knicks Milwaukee Washington yeah. Wizard Golden State nilifanya nao mazoezi um nilipofanya nao mazoezi a season before kabla ya hiyo mm -hmm. muda wa sajili ulipokuwa close kwenda kucheza nchi yoyote mm -hmm. so teams ikaz na hoji like do he really want it ana ana anataka kucheza basketball mm -hmm. Um, ikapigwa simu kwa agent agency wangu kwa sababu vitu vingi hivyo vinapendelea behind the stage mimi sijui chochote anafanya wakala wako anafanya wakala mm. so wakala akaambiwa bwana Hashim ndio tu amekuja kwenye training kwenye workouts kafanya vizuri ila last year hakucheza kwa hiyo tunataka tuone ana akionyeshe kuwa anaitaka hii how how bad do he want kwa hiyo agent you, you have to send him somewhere to play uh -huh. and that's how I ended up in Japan so that's how it works yeah. kwamba una kama hujacheza kwa muda uh -huh. wanataka kuona commitment yako commitment yako kwamba bado unataka kweli kucheza right, kikap right. wanakutuma same uh -huh. kwa hiyo aliyokutuma kule ni nani timu uliyokuwa unaichezea NBA au ni wakala wako uh, few teams are, ambazo nilifanya nazo mazoezi mm. pia ma, uh, agents wangu played part on that okay yani yani kwa kwa kifupi na kuna kitu ambacho agents ni yani ni akili ya agent actually mm. kwa sababu Ashimi atakurudi NBA si ndio hiyo ni motive yake mm. kashafanya mazoezi na baadhi ya team si ndio sasa agent lazima kupeleke sehemu ambayo wewe cha kwanza utapata air time cha pili ni sehemu ambayo utaonyesha ile uwezo wako wa, wa, wa asili ambao unao kwa sababu kwa mfano kwa mfano Ashim anajulikana kuwa defensive player muda mwingi mm. ukimpeka kwenye timu ambayo anatakiwa afanye offensive game kwa maana kushambulia zaidi mm. maana umemweka kwenye disadvantage yes. umeelewa uwezo atapa atanda ata, perform ata, perform. Mm. Kwa hiyo agent lazima mpeke kwenye timu ambayo uwezo wake ule utaonekana kwa kiwango kikubwa. Ndio maana inawezekana mtu labda anasema kwa nini kwenda China, kwa nini kwenda wapi. Inawezekana timu ambazo zimhitaji China, agent akiangalia anaona kabisa kwa role yake kule inaenda kuwa pengine kuwa mtu anayetakiwa kufanyaje, kusika na kushambulia sana. Kwa hiyo anaangalia timu ambayo inapatikana ambayo itaonesha uwezo wake ili zile timu ambazo zinaweza kumhitaji kwa role hiyo hiyo mm. ziweze kuona 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 kwamba zina nafasi ya kumtumia. Ah, uh, nimekaa vizuri sana. M -m -m -ki kiwango cha cha malipo NBA na huko unapofanya Japan utofauti wake umekaje? Tofauti. Eh. Yeah. NBA of course mzigo mnene. Mwaka 2013 kwa mfano niliona ni income yako kwa mwaka mzima ndio ilikuwa milioni dola milioni moja point mbili au ilikuwa ni kwa msimu au nini tufafanulie afu tuje tukompeni huko Japan. Mara nyingi waga spend kongere hizo vitu very personal too. Lakini kwenye profile zenu yeye kama watu wakubwa huwa mnaandika ndio maana mimi pia nimepata confidence ya kuuliza. Sio mimi niliandika itakuwa ma marketing people. Market your marketing people. Of course they represent you see. Yeah. So But they, work, we, they work for me. They work for you. Yeah. And when I see what I see what But then I to 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 say that in percent in percentage, you see, you confirm. Yani, kama kule uko na dipa tuseme shilingi mia. Kwa Japan unaweza kuona na dipa shilinga. Kama NBA uko na dipa shilingi mia. Unaweza ni kana dipa mia. Ah, unaweza kuona na dipa mia. Yeah, it's in contract negotiation. Ah, ni contract negotiation. Yeah. Kwa unaweza uka negotiate ukalipwa kiasi kile kile ulichokuwa unalipwa. Njia yote ukiamua ku negotiate vizuri tu unaweza ukalipwa ile ile na utaka. Imekaa vizuri. Kwa tini imekaa mambo amekomaa hataki yeah. kutaja. No. <laughs> Kwa sababu I mean seriously ikija yeah. kwenye contract negotiation. Ndio mm. maana haturuhusi si players tufanye hivyo. I mean maisha yangu yote professional. Mm. Nimeona hata one of my best friends. Mm. I negotiate contract here when you show up to sign na kuuliza maswali tu okay so hii imekuwa je kwa je ndio inapokuwa wanamfafanulia kuona maanisha kwamba agent wengi wanaichukua kama biashara pia na inabidi wakuvae wewe wa represent kila kitu unachokitaka business ni very big business ndio maana unasikia Rock Nation got into agency Rock Nation JZ wameendelea kukusign KD kwa hiyo like it's 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 actually a thing ni shughuli za watu 
kitu ambacho one of the things huwa nashangaa ni ki Tanzania hakuna watu ambao wanataka kufanya vitu kama hivyo labda ni kwa ajili ni kipya ama ni kutokuwa na knowledge kuhusu na hicho ila ni very huge business kwa mziki mziki kidogo heshima imeanza mm-hmm. ni kweli na nadhani wakati huo unaondoka alikuwa pia haijawa kivu ajaanza kulipa sana lakini sasa hivi kiukweli unapozungumzia au mameneja angalau wa wanamziki na nini hiyo kacha imeanza kuingia taratibu taratibu yeah. ila kwenye mpira kwenye hiyo kwa ufupi kwenye michezo yani bado unaona kama ina inasuasua kidogo uh, nadhani kitu ambacho mm. kinahitajika kuwa kuhamasishwa mm. kwa sababu kwanza pia kutokuwa labda na michezo mashuleni mtu ina, kwa sababu kitu hivyo agencies ni agent tokea nimefika, nimefika sijui niko high school mm. agents walikuwa wanakuja wananiangalia wanaondoka mm ambao kishule shule utakiwa kuwa na agent mm. bila wanaruhusiwa kuja wanaangalia wanaondoka kwa hiyo wanakuwa wanajua kabisa bwana huyu huyu mbeleni huyu mm. tunaweza tukaje tukatengeneza ila kwa sababu sio hiyo tu unakuwa mm. ah pia pia watu wote wengi wanafanya fanyia hizo kazi mm. pia wanategemea kutengeneza ila kwa hiyo wana tokia bado mdogo anahakikisha unakuwa motivated wana unakuwa na ndo yani ndo vitu ambavyo sometimes nakaa nafikiria ningevipata tokia utotoni labda isingekuwa different story ila uh, ilivotokea tofauti ilivotokea imetokea okay ashim mimi kwa nataka kuuliza swali uh, pengine tunaangalia sana the hates ambazo umefika kwa maana ya mafanikio right. lakini nba ni, mo, ni moja ya rough journey kwa sababu you have to work out sana inabidi upambane experience yako mbaya zaidi kwenye nba ambayo pengine ukikaa pamoja na mazuri yote ambayo umeyapata kitu ambacho kinakuja kichwani mara nyingi ambacho unasema da hii kweli ilinirudisha nyuma kwa kiongo fulani ama iliniumiza sana ni nini kwenye nba Um, um kitu ambacho labda nikisema tukisema ambacho kime kilini kinda um hata kukushangaza unaweza kutumia hilo neno mm. unajua una, unatokea college ambapo ulikuwa dominant una, unacheza katika 40 minutes unacheza up to 37 36 38 mm-hmm. and then you get to the NBA labda game nyingine unachezesha and then you part in the explanation ya ode wa mbi chochote bona kwa potu like unajiandaa uko tayari like, kwa sababu with the NBA it doesn't matter muda gani utaingiza kwenye game inabidi uwe ready mm-hmm. kwa hiyo wewe labda ta, kila time out una warm up una feel mm-hmm. utaingia and then uingie unasugua bench yeah mm-hmm. uh, and and i took okay, labda game moja and then maybe game mbili then game inafuata unacheza dakika 10 and then kwa hiyo zinakuwa so much up and down ambazo zinaweza mentally na psychologically zinaweza zikakuwa fake but ila the even ndo vitu ambavyo vidogo vidogo ambavyo mimi nilikuwa na shindwa kuvielewa i mean unakuja ka NBA ukiwa one contender of national player of the year nimeshinda to defensive player of the year na shikilia college uh, re, blood shot blocking record alafu unakuja NBA and then inabadilika inabadilika uchezeshi kama ulivyokuwa unacheza mwanzoni so vitu vingi vinavyometokea lakini hicho ndo kitu labda ni chokoti na kile zaidi na Memphis ni moja ya sema ambazo wachezaji wakubwa kama wewe kwa maana ya big men wame excel kwa muda mrefu sana hata kwa miaka karibu ni Paul so kabla ajaenda Lakers baadaye mdogo wake Magazo Zach Randolph ambaye nayo anakumbuka alicheza naye ni how did it happen wewe ukuza ku excel pamoja na huo muda what actually was behind paka au kuweza excel kwenye system ambayo inaonekana kama inabeba big men sana later you know if you get few so um so you can anyhow the most mostly you had to do with play time if you do, if you don't get to play you won't be able to produce mm. you know the, the nba is a game of numbers every three minutes as a big man you need yeah. to get one rebound kwa hiyo kama yani sheria ukiwa kwenye game sio 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 sheria ya kitimu na like strategies ambazo ba, watu wanaojua basketball wana wana wanapima mm. uh, kila one three minutes you get get one rebound muona mambo yani kile dakika tatu udaki rebound moja kwa hiyo kama unacheza dakika tatu namba zako hazitopendezwa unacheza dakika sita namba zako hazitopendezwa lakini mdau anaitazama heshima anaweza kusema labda unapewa uko unapewa muda mdogo kwa sababu pia labda ya performance yako ulipokuwa kwenye NBA da wanaoni wanaoni jua when i got to OKC they saw it because mm. i was getting playing yeah. you know you play by like 
Like Alikwana said, Mikazi Yangu, I'm a defender. I'm one of the best defenders in the world. Yeah. I'm a defender. 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 I'm you defend. You have guys like KD and Russell scoring 30 every night. When I come here, I say you're not here. You're not getting paid to 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 score. You're getting paid to guard someone. Because you always look at him. He shoot shots, then when I see a lot of kutoleo. So you have to be there to do your job. Your job is to guard, guard. To score 30 points, that's someone else's job. Where you're because you're going to guard. Because you can score, but you're not paid. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not. Well, keep your arm pillar, that means you are open to score. Mm -hmm. And that's how, when, by the time I think okay, see, I chase 20 minutes every night. Mm -hmm. So, Lambda, if I played more in, okay, uh, in Memphis, yeah. then it would be a different story. You know? game. Yeah. Yeah. Kuna, 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 kuna siyasa, yeah. kwenye, yani, kisema siyasa na manisha mizengu, mm -hmm. kwenye NBA. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you'll be surprised, you'll be surprised. Like, like one of those CS, uh, mm. to me, I'll say, if I played more on Nipokuwa, Memphis, I would have played more than 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 mwingine anasema hiki. Kwa hiyo mwisho siku pia unajua pia ukiwa kwenye timu kama Memphis kwa mfano. Kuna kwa kuna ideology. Kuna mmoja labda anataka Stephen Curry, kwa mwingine anataka Shim. Kwa mwisho siku mmoja uh, atashinda lazima katika choice ya kuleta mchezaji. Sasa alafu bahati mbaya anaweza kashinda huyo ambaye ni top management. Alafu alikuwa anamtaka mchezaji mwingine ndio anatakiwa akafanye kazi na Shim kwenye kwenye training. Nadhani na tatizo linaanzia hapo. Yeah, yeah, those things. Yeah. Vitu. Na ni kwa sababu nilikuwa naangalia ile series ya bowlers. Bowlers. Umeangalia series ya bowlers? Yeah, yeah, ya yeah, Dwayne Johnson. Eh, of course ni ni series ya mambo ya mpira. Nazungumzia hiyo biashara inayozunguka mpira na nini na siasa zake. Of course mwisho wa siku unagundua kwamba kwa sababu ni hela inahusika. Na popote penye hela, mizengo lazima iusike. Oh, sure. Yeah. Kuna 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 swala moja ambao pengine sisi narudia lile lile kwamba pengine tunamchukulia Shim Poa. Na I'm talking it so kwa sababu yupo. Ni kwa sababu ni ukweli kwamba Tanzania wengi ni kama wana underestimate career yake. Lakini NBA wao wana value kila siku. Na last week kama wiki moja na usu imepita, alikuwa na launch NBA Africa game. Kwa mana yendo alikuwa mgeni ambaye kwa mana umachezaji ambao wana launch kurejea kwa mchezo wa mpiro wa kikapu Afrika. Ngema mbeta chezo wa Agastine mwaka huu. Ambo kama kwa mtazana ya takwenda actually, they should start booking tickets. Ndiyo. Ashim, unaongelea aji ya swala la uwepo wa hizi NBA Africa game ambayo hata commissioner Adam Silver amekua ki insist sana kwa mba hawawezi kueta mchezo mmoja ki inabidi walete package ya NBA Africa game ambayo itabeba vitu vingi ndani yake kama kutuwa misaada kwa watu wa sojiweza, kusaidia vijano wadogo ambayo kwa kutanisha na wachezaji kuifanya activity suwe ya siku moja iwe kama ya wiki mbili ama wiki moja na zaidi ninini kinabeba kwenye mtu Afrika, mtu Afrika mashariki hata kama inafanyika Afrika kusini Kami, ni kitu kikubwa sana ukiangalia kama hii junior NBA, ni vitu mbaba umemi kampano wakati naanza kuchiza basketball vilikuwa vitu kwa hiyo jesi, vitu mbaba but sometimes I wish that I would be able to do it, but I would be able to do it. It's an opportunity for me to be able to participate in the game. Because the things like this, the camps like this, the kids are too exposed and the kids are too exposed. You can learn a lot of things like this. You can learn a lot of things like this. You can learn a lot of things like this. You can learn a lot of things like this. You can learn a lot of things like this. You can learn a lot of things like this. You can learn a lot of things like this. Um, ni kitu ambacho cha kitamaduni kufanya kama vile kila kitu wala sio serious kivile ila ni, ni big deal na uh, wa, wa, wazazi na walezi kitu cha muhimu sana kuwahusisha watoto wa shiriki katika michezo ni kitu kikubwa sana na hii eh, NBA kufanya uh, kufanya hii NBA junior ni kitu ambacho tunatakiwa tu, tu sisi kama wa Tanzania tuwashukuru pia NBA kwa kuweza kufikiria kuleta vitu kama hivyo Tanzania hmm. so na kwa kwa, kwa mantiki hiyo uh, hii game inayofanyika Afrika Kusini 
mtoto mdogo ambaye yuko Tanzania ama na mzazi ambaye hawajui aswa namna gani ya pengine za kumfikisha mtoto pale kwa sababu na pengine utaratibu wa kuweza kufikisha kuanzia program haujulikani what do you advise na kipi hasa kinaweza kikafanyika ili waweze kupata ile vibe na experience ya NBA Africa game kwa sababu hata mwaka jana ilikuepo lakini kwa Africa na hisi ndio ilikuwa mara ya kwanza kusub clouds actually tulienda kuifanya coverage ilikuwa kwa Tanzania inawezekana ndio ikaja kichwani kwamba ah kumbe NBA wanafanya kitu kama hichi kwa kwa, kwa Africa mzazi ambaye anataka pengine mwanae experience kile kitu anafanya nini um, I say kwa kweli as for what we have in Tanzania mm. <laughs> ni kama kitu kigumu lakini kila kitu kinawezekana um, kuna watu wa usika um, uh, nadhani je wakitaka asilimia kubwa ya hiyo kitu waende pale GMK Park kuna bahati unajua bahati ya NBA Africa mm. nadhani hiyo ndio itakuwa kubwa ila as far as game mimi sina uhakika hata zinaonyesha utajiri gani hapo Tanzania Uh, yeah actually well many clouds ndo tuna letter feeds na, oh, nice. na, na, na vitu kama hivyo ndani ya ndani ya NBA Africa game kuna vitu kama basketball without borders yeah, yeah. ambao pengine watu hawajui lakini <laughs> ndio ile watoa wachezaji wengi zaidi wa Africa yeah. kwenda kwenye NBA mm. ambayo mara nyingi finali zake zinakuwa kwenye hiyo NBA Africa yeah, game yeah. junior NBA ambayo inafanyika hapa kidongo chekundu JK Park wa vijana wanatoka mwaka jana alitoka yule mdada Jessica Ngisaisa ambaye exactly. tulizungumza naye hapa eh ambaye alitoka akaenda kule the magnitude ambayo NBA wanajaribu kufika Afrika na pengine wewe upo pale kuna namna ambayo tunaweza tukafanya mkashirikiana pengine ikawa ni idea kuweza kufanya kitu kikubwa zaidi ili hizo opportunity ziweze kufika kwa watu wengi zaidi inawezekana ila ina, pia tunahitaji kuwa na facilities tunahitaji kuwa na watoto wengi ambao wanaanza wa, 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 wa katika umri mdogo ili ikifika muda fulani tunakuwa tuna uhakika kwa sababu mm. ukiangalia nchi kama Nigeria before the basketball of the borders mm. wana ile giants of africa yeah, yeah, ambayo yeah, amba, yeah, yeah, yeah. inakuja huko next year yeah. Tanzania kwa hiyo ni vitu ambavyo inabidi tuwe tayari tu, and that this is what to tayari hatuna facilities ambayo kitu ambacho mm mi paka ni kufikia mimi paka hapa sasa hivi i wish labda hata serikali you know wangeweza kujenga hata kiwanja cha basketball cha kisasa ambao tunaweza tuka sio 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 just sisi hata watu wa NBA tukaje tukafanyia hata hapa Tanzania kikatumika and ni, ni vitu ambavyo ni, ni labda ni maandalizi tunahitaji maandalizi maandalizi turudi kwenye drawing board mm, yeah. tukikupa chama cha cha basketball Tanzania ukiongoze kama mfano tu hypothetically yeah. utaanza na kipi najua changamoto ni nyingi lakini kipi cha msingi unaweza unaweza kusema at least ah emu hata hiki basi kifanyike kwa kuleta basketball katika mashule basketball mashule ah, mashule miundo mbinu ipo ashim ndo ndo nasema maandalizi ndo mm. atende the day tunarudi katika maandalizi yes ya kwa sababu um, yanawezekana ya kwa wenzetu mm. na, na, na sio tu kwa wenzetu pia nafasi na nafasi ya kutembelea nchi kadhaa za Afrika mm. basketball anaiweza kwa nini it should be like for years to make what kufanya soccer tokea independence and and paka saivi tuna mbwana mm. uh, so, it should be more more, more yeah. than yeah and Kusabu. hata hata sorry to yeah. cut you off mm. hata hii chance is nini mpata kwenda kusafiri asia kucheza asia yeah. mm. tutaki yani league kwa league uwezo wao walivyo kwa kule mm. tutakiwa tuwe na Tanzania ya kutosha yeah. ila hakuna ni kwa ajili kama at the end of the day tunarudi kwenye drawing board maandalizi kuandaa kwa hiyo kwa, 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 kwa mfano mimi ningekuwa head tbf mm. yeah. naanza mashuleni naanza kuandaa tokea bado wadogo mpaka mm. inawanafikia katika level fulani okay tunawahakika kuwa watoto tutowapeleka mm. um same fulani wana kuna vitu wanaweza kufanya ndio nba junior mm. sasa hivi tuna and uh, um Tanzania team under 18 and 18 ambayo ni FIBA ambayo ni FIBA kwa kwa hiyo unaona kabisa ukianzisha platform tokea umri mdogo mm. later on unaweza ukajenga vitu vikubwa sana kwa mfano hawa watoto wa under 18 nimeenda kuangalia wana wanaonyesha kuwa wanataka ila ni wameandaliwa vipi okay. okay kuna kuna wewe uli, ulichelewa kidogo kuanza kucheza basketball kwa yeah. ukilinganisha yeah na wachezaji wengi wa Kimarekani. Ulianza ukiwa na miaka 15, si ndio? Kuna wakati ambapo ulipokuwa kwenye NBA, unahisi kama wengine wana advantage kwa sababu walianza wakiwa wadogo zaidi kwenye uwezo wa kufanya wa, wa kuperform. 
I mean, so and so. Mm. We're going to have Kilia Sana, you know, like, Lablin against up Chesa Basketball, Katim Dogu Zaid in Jet Quadri. You know, come on, you go say, I'm going to talk here, and I'm going to talk here. You know, I'm going to talk here, but I'm going to talk here. You know, the reporter, two ambassadors, I'm going to talk here. I'm going to high school, I'm going to talk here, I'm going to talk here, high school, college. Iyo ndo route ya kwenda NBA. Kwa hiyo, ukijipanga tu na, na kufanya vitu ambao vinatakiwa, mm. na zani inazekana. Kwa hiyo, mm. I'm in advantage sio kivile, um, kwa sababu vitu ambao ni kwa najifunza wakati ni kwa kukule. Um, makocha wengi walikuwa wananielewa kwa ajili mimi nilichokuwa nataka ni kujifunza i wanted to learn ila kama ningekuwa na kuna vitu vingine na vijua labda ningekuwa na napiga shortcut mbona kwa hiyo walichokuwa mimi nikiwa nikiwa mazoezi ni sikio nikiambia fanya hichi mimi i'm going to it naenda okay ashim wale wale wakina lebron james nini sili ya zile performance ni kwamba inakuwa ni special talent kwamba bwana huyu yuko hivyo kama kina Messi tunavyoona kwenye mpira au kuna vitu vya ziada wanavyofanya they push so hard kwenye swala la la, la mazoezi labda na vitu vingine vingine i mean as, as far mazoezi kama ninavyokuambia team labda mnaweza mkafanya mazoezi yote kwa pamoja okay and then kuna kwa kwa mwenye mm. unafanya kila kitu wewe mwenyewe peke yako mm. and kuna vitu vingine tofauti tu kwa hiyo um, Guys like, like him is just uh, special. Like uh, me, come fan of me, come in the same special talent. He's a special talent. He's a special talent. Okay. Mimi nataka tu niulisha nyuma kidogo. Ashimu mbongelea swala la elim na mchezo wa mpira wa Pengine na pengine uh, kwa mfano kwenye seed project ya, ya Madugalo Senego uh -huh. moja vitu vikubwa vinawafanya watoto wengi kule wapende elimu ni kwa sababu wameahidiwa kupitia basketball wanaweza wakafika Marekani uh -huh. kwenda kusoma kwenye college za Marekani na nilivyoenda pale watu wengi waliorejea alikuja ndio Goji Deng ambaye ni mchezaji wa NBA lakini wengi waliorejea pale ni mamenejia wa Marekani wa mabanki mamenejia wa makampuni wengine wana kampuni zao wengine ma engineer wengi sana pengine labda mtaala wa Tanzania katika kuza mpira wa kikapu. Pengine labda tunaweza tukafix mpira wa kikapu kama uh, kama, kama kitu kama kama tija ya kwamba watoto wengi watakofanya vizuri kwenye masomo lakini wazuri kwenye mpira wa kikapu tutawatafutia connections za kucheza basketball yeah. na Amerika. Inaweza kawa ni moja ya vitu ambavyo vita boost elimu kwa wakati huo vikaboost mchezo wa mpira wa kikapu. Kabisa inawezekana. I mean kama unavyosema uh, wengi wanaporudi wanakuwa tayari malo ya labda. Mm -hmm. Kupiti kupitia basketball unaweza ukapata elimu ya bure. Kwa hiyo kama ukiwa mzuri darasani unacheza basketball hiyo inakupa more mileage. Kwa hiyo watu watoto wengi wanaweza wakapata katika labda hii miaka michache iliyopita mm. watoto wengi ambao wamepata wame nafasi ya kuja huko mm. tena sio kuwa ni watoto wa Tanzania tu labda kuna nchi nyingine tofauti tofauti ambao wanahusika katika kuwasaidia kupata hizi shule. Mm wengi wanakuja kule wanaishia kuwa wafanye biashara wanatafuta kazi kwa hiyo sio kila mtu ambaye ataweza kusema okay mimi nitacheza hadi nifike NBA kwa sababu okay. ukiangalia in US yenyewe kuna watu wana kuna watoto wao tokea wamezaliwa wao dream yao mimi na mcheni mimi mpaka afike NBA na wengine wanaishia kwa kupiga kwa hiyo ni, ni kila mtu na route yake kila mtu na njia yake kwa hiyo kama unavyosema amadu wanavyofanya na watoto wanaweza wakapata scholarship kwenda kucheza basketball yeah. wakaishia kufanya vitu vingine kwa hiyo hii walitumia ni kama nafasi ambayo ya kuwezesha kutoka just just sio kutoka kwenda kucheza basketball mm -hmm. anaweza akapata kazi nzuri na maisha mazuri wakaishia kuwa na maisha mazuri kupitia mm -hmm. vitu vingine ila kupitia basketball ni kitu ambacho kama wazazi sio basketball tu michezo yote mm. waamini kuwa michezo inawezekana na kitu ambacho kinaweza kufanyika na mtu akapata maisha yake tofauti sambamba na wewe Hashim sisi tunakutazama kama basketball player mkubwa mm. wewe pia ni public figure mm. kuna vitu gani mnapokuwa huko huwa mnafundishwa ambavyo pia unaweza ukashare na watu ambao ni maarufu wa Tanzania nini ambavyo mnaambiwa nyie how should you behave kwa mfano mm. kama public figure mnafundishwa nini Man, vitu tunavyofundishwa ni vingi kwanza ile unapotoka college mm. 
when I was going up to high school, when the college, you know, Felicia Victor, ah, ni vingi, um, jinsi ya nikongia na watu, jinsi ya, jinsi, even meals, jinsi ya, yani unafunishu, kila kitu kipo. Ndwa maa, ndwa maa, ndwa maa, ndwa maa, huku tunachoko, so sisi labda sisi maandalizi. Maandalizi ya watu. Unezo kutajiata vitatu vine, yani umetombia kumfano namna ya kuzungumza, unafundishwa kama public figure, yeah, yeah. mtu maarufu, yeah. namna ya kuzungumza na watu. Yeah. Yeah. Kabla ujitu yeah. swali, inachukua, yeah. inachukua sekunde ngapi kabla ya kujitu. Uh, kuna hadi sekunde, kwa hona yeah. nisikiliza hapo na nifatilia, mm-hmm. kuna sekunde kathaa hizi, kuna delay kume ni ya makusudi. Mm-hmm. Kitu kingina mbacho mnafundishwa, natamani sana tu share experience na watu wana um, kwa Tanzania. Jinsi uh, ya kuji... Kuji, kuji beba ukiwa una, 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 yani kila siku maisha yako ya kila siku jinsi unavoji carry mm. uh, pia unafundishwa hivyo jinsi ya uh, yani uh, Ma, mazingira ma, yako mazingira yako same mm. gani unatakiwa kuwepo same gani unatakiwa kuwepo dakika ngapi okay same gani kuna watu gani unatakiwa onge na mm. vitu kama hivyo yani vidogo muda gani unaweza ukasema okay mimi sasa hivi sitakii kuongea na mtu yeyote mm. yani vitu vi, vi, vi chache ambavyo mm. ukivifanya unaweza ukaonekana kama una riga ni vitu ambavyo wewe psychologically mm. unatakiwa Kume, ku control as a professional player yeah. i say muona hivi kuna 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 psychology doctor mm. kuna sleep doctor ambaye unaongea naye kila siku ukipiga yani it's, it's sleep right. doctor yani anaye control wewe kulala masaa mangapi umelala mm. masaa mangapi umelala deep sleep mm. kila kila kitu kinakuwa monitor mm. Matali sana. Yeah. Ila <laughs> mimi moja vitu ambavyo pokea nikikaa mchezaji mbeki utaona naye ainaambia ni hiyo ya kuzungumza. Namna namna ya kuzungumza. Eh. Yeah. Na mi, mitandao mnafundishwa pia namna ya ku, ya, ku, ya kujibu kwenye mitandao na vitu kama vile. Mm-hmm. Eh hiyo kwa sababu tunaona kuna kuna public figures ambao hapa kwetu kwa mfano tunatumia kama mfano. Of course sio wote wanaharibu lakini ni somo ambalo tunaweza kulipata kwa uzoefu ambao oh, mnataka. How to kuwajibu watu. Kuna mtu anaweza akakukera tu bila sababu kwenye mitandao akakutukana tu sibila hata sababu how to respond mnafundishwa pia hivyo yeah, yeah. um, the best response is no response okay ukipata kashfa kabisa ukipata kashfa inakuwaje what happens me you are, you are market uh, you are pr mm. P, watu wa, watu wako wa pr na media wanatakiwa handle that mm. yeah. Wai, waiweke sawa yeah. maana unaweza so ukapoteza pia si uh, ukapoteza um, biashara uh, yeah unapoteza biashara za kutosha tu kwa hiyo uh, wewe mwenyewe kama wewe to, to come clear mm. Uh, I mean mambo yanatokea we sisi ni binadamu at the end of the day ila muda mwingi tunashauriwa kutokuviongelea publicly mm. okay for na and for crying out loud na mtu kama pengine mimi naweza kasa langu la mwisho mtu kama madugalo ni, ni spirit ya yeah, kucheza sana kikafu lakini spirit ambayo iko ndani yake ndio ilimfanya kuweza kufanya kusaidia wa vijana wengi ambao wengi wanamuita kama baba yani wachezaji wengi vijana wa wengi wanamuita kama baba kwa mtu kama wewe how do we get mtu wa mtu kama Madu kwa nchi kama Tanzania kwa sababu nimekuja kugundua haianzi kwa wachezaji wenyewe inaanzia kwa mtu ambaye hata sio mchezaji ambaye yupo tayari ku drive his talent iweze kufika mbali what do we do na how do we inspire watu ambao sio wachezaji kuweza kusaidia wa vijana kufika mbali ina inabidi watake na ndio yeah. na kuna 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 kufanya vitu afu na kutaka kufanya vitu unaweza ukasema unafanya ila ufanye bila ukitaka ukitaka kukifanya utahakikisha kinafanyika amadu is one of them okay unajua amadu akisema bwana tutafanya hivi kinafanyika mm. ila sio um, what to own stories yeah yeah okay sometimes things works different kuna kuna kampuni ambazo umezifanyia endorsement sasa hivi nimeume ulipoingia nikaangalia t-shirt yako ni plain suruali yako ni plain raba plain socks plain labda uko kwenye kisigino ambapo sipaoni kuna kuna kampuni ambazo unafanya nazo kazi of course hii ni kwenye aspect ya mavazi tu labda kuna kampuni ambazo unazitangazia biashara yake na vitu kama hivyo sasa hivi yeah yeah 
zipo. Yeah, zipo. Basa, kwa faida ya time yangu pia naomba tusizitaje. Kaa nazo hivyo hivyo. Re retirement plan. Yeah. Najua of course kwenye michezo yenu nyinyi mnatumia nguvu sana. Ndio maana unatuambia mna, mna practice muda mwingi. Ah, uh, maana ni kwamba pia kuna muda wa kufanya hii kazi, kuna muda inaisha of course umri nao unakwenda. Yeah. Uashimthabiti aliyestaafu kikap ambaye achezi kikap. Atakuwa anafanya kazi gani? Um that that that's laid on mm. um um <laughs> 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 nah, iko, iko, iko <laughs> the whole plan in now blueprint ile siko tayari kuweka wazi yeah and any investment i've been doing investment mm. tokia ni what, what kind of investment um, real estate. Unafanya real estate. Yeah. Wa, nje au Tanzania? Nje yeah, mostly. Nchi gani? US. US. Yeah. Okay. Aina gani ya investment? Kwa real estate investment unaozifanya? Real estate. Ah, it's cost sekunde zake si alizofundishwa. Okay, uh, that's 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 great. Nime nimependa hiyo kwenye 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 retirement plan. Ashimu unaweza ukatugusia wewe sasa hivi una utajiri kama wa kiasi gani? Nah, kana Are you rich? No, I'm not. middle class? Sio middle class. Ni low class. Of course you are not. Si si ni class yoyote. Ni si ko class yoyote. Mnaambiwa pia msizungumzie hivyo vitu. Ameni hivyo vitu vinakuja na kuondoka so. Okay. Yeah, we, kuna vitu ambavyo viko very important in maisha yetu kama mm. familia na vitu yeah. kama hivyo hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo mimi mm. personally nachagua kuviongelea. Na vipi unavipa nafasi? Basi hivyo hivyo tu viongelee. Una mpango labda wa kuoa hivi karibuni? Na na si hivi karibuni. Yeah. Si. Bado kazi. Agara mm. kuna vitu ambavyo ninabidi nimalizie kuifanya kabla mm. sijawa kama mtetu. Okay, kama miaka mingapi unajiona hivi mbele? Miaka. Wewe ni wewe ni rafiki sana wa mama yako. Yeah. Unasikia which kitu yeah. ambacho ni kizuri sana. Yeah. Mama yako huwa kuna wakati ambapo mkikaa peke yenu kama anakusisitiza hivi uoe nyumbani au anakupa freedom. Popote tutakapopata mchumba. I'm, I'm free to do anything. You are free. Yeah. Family yako inahusika vipi kwenye biashara? Tunaisikia sana ikizungumzwa. Um, kuna vitu kuna vitu kadhaa wanavifanya. Mm. Uh, spend, uh, uko spendagi kufika. Safi. Yeah. Uliwahi kujaribu kuendesha IST siku ya hivi karibuni au vits? <laughs> Na. Ni kushukuru sana Shimtabi. Thank you so much for your time. Una chochote ambacho ungeweza kunataka kutumia nafasi hii ya Clouds TV kuambia vijana wenye vipaji Tanzania kama mtu ambaye umefanikiwa kwenye career yako unafanya vizuri. Um, waendelee kujituma tu. Um, kila, kila mtu yuko destined um, kila mtu yuko destined to fault. Kwa hiyo waendelee whatever unataka kufanya tutumie nguvu zako zote akili zako zote katika kwa kikisho na kifanya na, na slogan yangu moja za sifanyi kitu vizuri tu na kifanya kitu mbaka ni kisha kuwa mzuri katika hicho kitu before I move to the next one kwa hiyo na hawa wajaribu ku approach vitu wanapovifanya katika level flani ya juu sana kabla hajaamua kufanya kitu kingine thank you so much tunakushukuru sana thank you so much for your time huyo ni Hashim Thabit umemmsikia mambo mengi ambayo umeyazungumza ni imani yetu kwamba pia yamefungulia dunia ili uwe na wataka kauli mbiu yetu ndio falsafa yetu sisi Clouds Media Group anafanya vizuri kwenye kitu ambacho anakifanya ni mfano kwamba pia inawezekana umesikia kuhusiana na maneno maneno yale tunayozungumza kwamba bwana Hashim kama amefeli hivi kutoka NBA ametupa takwimu zake hapa kwamba sio kweli amefanya vizuri kitendo tu cha kupenya kuingia kwenye NBA hata angecheza sekunde kumi ingekuwa inatosha kwake kwamba ni rekodi ambayo imeitengeneza na kweli anayo mpaka leo hakuna ambaye amemnyang'anya this is clouds 360 on saturday good morning mimi naitwa siza bado tuko hapa endelea kutazama